Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to this video, guys. My name is Liaqat Zaman. This is my YouTube channel, Roots of Knowledge. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are enjoying the rainy season here. It's actually raining a lot in the UK past week or so. And so, because of that, I thought, why not find a dua which is related to rain? So this is the dua that I found. Allahumma sayyiban nafi'an. Allahumma sayyiban nafi'an. So now this dua that we read over here, um, inshallah, what I'll do is for those of you guys who are interested in Arabic grammar, I will break down the Arabic grammar for you. And those who are not, you can just fast forward it, inshallah. And then I'll explain the the benefit of this uh, dua. So first of all, let's look at the translation of this dua in Allahumma sayyiban nafi'an Allahumma, oh Allah, rain beneficial. Now that doesn't make sense, does it? Oh Allah, rain beneficial. Sayyib means rain, nafi'an means beneficial. So when nafi came before as well. If you know which dua it came in, put it in the comments below as well. So what we're going to do over here is, we're actually going to split this. So we're going to make a little so sometimes what happens in the arabic language words are missing in a sentence and if you're arab you know what those words are if you're not an arab you need to learn what those words are so let's just split this then let's make it a split between allahumma and sayyib and then okay now we're going to insert into here the missing word yeah so one of the possible missing words that we can have so the word over here that we are going to choose you can have actually ij'alhu Right, so this is munada, right? Ya Allah, munada. The missing word, let's insert this then. Let's put um, as'aluka. Okay, so as'aluka. I'll try to write this neatly now. So as'aluka. I ask you, that's what it means. As'aluka. I ask you. So in Turkey, wise, as'alu is fail. Plus the fa'il and the ka is the maf'ul bihi. So I ask you. So the ka is the maf'ul bihi. And we call this the first maf'ul bihi. Sayyiban is the mawsuf. And then nafi'an is the sifa. Mawsuf plus the sifa put together becomes the second maf'ul bihi. Right, so this is the second maf'ul bihi. So first maf'ul bihi. Plus the second of will be he put together. This becomes the with the fi'l and the fa'il jumla fi'liya khabariya. Now, although I know you're going to say, well, isn't this a dua? Yes, it's a dua. So it's in sha'iya in overall, but broken down, it's actually jumla fi'liya khabariya. So uh, let's look at the benefits of this dua then. So Allahumma inni, or Allahumma as'aluka sayyib al naf. Allahumma inni as'aluka, we can say. Another way you can say is Allahumma ja'alhu sayyib al nafi'an. So imagine there's a cloud. Sayyib means a heavy rain laden cloud. And this cloud has lots of rain in there. Now this rain can be beneficial for us. It can benefit us, make things grow, may give us water to drink, or it can be harmful like the, the rains of Nuh alayhi salam, destroy everything, destroy the people. And all of this is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is in control of all of the weather. Allah is in control of every single thing. That's why we turn to Allah. We have tawakkul, trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we make our dua, it manifests our connection with Allah. The tawheed, the oneness of Allah that's in our hearts, it manifests on our tongues. So to save ourselves from harmful rain, and we ask Allah for the useful rain. Uh, we ask Allah, oh Allah, make this rain useful for us. Oh Allah, we ask you for useful rain. It's a dua you ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whether there is no rain, whether there is rain. A dua you can say at any time you want. Right? Sometimes you're stuck on the street, it's raining, and you don't want your clothes to get messed up. You don't know? just say this dua, inshallah, Allah will give you benefit from that rain. Even if you get wet, there's going to be benefit in there for you, inshallah. So, you know, understanding the connection that the natural world has with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and, and its belief, the belief that you have to have is powerful. You know, whether it's to do with the rain or the sun or the heat or wind, whatever it is, you connect it back to Allah and you ask Allah to benefit you with all of this. Such a beautiful, small dua, but such a beautiful dua. Make sure you memorize this dua. Let, let me know in the comments if you guys are memorizing these duas and if you know them from before. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Thank you for 
uh, my patrons who are beautiful people supporting my channel. If you have any questions or you want to become a patron, which is going to help my channel a lot, I really appreciate it. Please check out the description below and I will see you guys next time, inshallah. Uh, thank you very much again. Hit the subscribe, like button. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.